Kenny Galladay will not be suiting up Sunday against the Bears. Let's talk Lions. Welcome back to an all new episode of Let's Talk Lions. I wanted to give you just a quick injury update, a little injury report regarding the game this week against the Bears. Uh, Kenny Galladay, very surprisingly, will not be playing this week. You know, there was hopes that it was more of an internal struggle with Matt Patricia, Bob Quinn. Uh, the contract extension maybe was a little bit more mild of an injury. Uh, you know what? And maybe it still is. We don't know. We don't know what the deal is. But what we do know is that Kenny Galladay will not be suiting up this week against the Bears. This will be the fifth game in a row that Kenny Galladay is missing. We know that the Lions are 1-5 without Galladay, and then we're three and two with him on the field. So a little bit of a bigger difference in our uh, production and end of game status when Kenny Galladay is on the field. You know, and you got his contract extension coming up. Personally, I want to re-sign him. I know this year has been weird. I don't think he is an injury prone player. Plus he's just a dog. Guy plays through it all. This injury has got to be severe enough that it's keeping him off the field. Because Galladay is not the type of guy who wants to sit on the sideline. Who wants to watch the game. He wants to play. He wants to compete. And he wants to win. And I love that about him. Obviously, DeAndre Swift, the whole concussion now illness as it has been uh, reported, is very intriguing. You know, and you listen to AP. AP came out and was like, basically, I want to see him healthy. And was very encouraging to Swift. Basically being like, listen, nobody knows you like you. You know your body. You understand your body. Don't do anything that you're going to regret that could really affect your career. Uh, You know, obviously, as Lions fans, we all want Swift out there. He is fun to watch. He's dynamic. He's explosive. However, if he's injured and that concussion is lingering or there's something still going on, don't play my man. Like I, A, I want your, I want the best for your health. B, I want the best for your future and for your career and after the NFL. That's, that's my thing is, you know what? Like, yeah, it'd be great to have you for these next five games, but we are out of the playoff running. So to me, don't get injured. Think about your future. DeAndre Swift, with this illness, it's not COVID-related. We know that. Not really sure what it is. I don't know if it's the lingering effects of whatever caused the concussion, which we also don't know. You have that. You've got Stafford, who is questionable. It sounds like he will play, but with that thumb, he's been having a lot of issues. And then you have Tracy Walker and Austin Bryant, who are questionable. Austin Bryant... (laughs) I got nothing. (laughs) And then for the Bears, we know that Khalil Mack is out. That is going to be huge for us. So it'll be really good for Stafford if Stafford is playing, of course. That is the injury update Friday going into this weekend. Also, side note, did you guys see the Michigan lawmakers, the legislators, writing an open letter to the Detroit Lions? Basically, A, thanking them for the firing of Quinn and Patricia, and B, being like, give us Salah. We want him. Very interesting. As much as I like Sala, I don't think I want Michigan lawmakers choosing who our head coach is. Just saying. That is the injury update going into week 13 against the Bears. And I'll see you Sunday for what will be probably a very messy game. But hey, it's football. So...